yeah. Mm hmm <laughs> How many of you out there are Irish or are Irish for the day? <laughs> do you know that my maiden, do you still call it maiden name? My maiden name was Mahoney. I was Suzanne Mahoney. Mm hmm Suzanne Marie Mahoney, because when you're Irish, you're usually Catholic, and they stick that Marie in there in all the names, hoping that you'll have a vocation. I didn't quite have no, that. No, it's, it's... What is it? Because it's for Maria. It's like all the... We're all, we all have the middle name Maria. It's for the Blessed Mother. Oh. That's another right. reason. Yes. Yes, you're right. You're right. But anyway, I, uh, I really tried. I used to go out in my backyard and pray for a vo vocation, but... See, I had a big problem. I didn't like the outfit. <laughs> I just couldn't see. If I could have worn my Manolo Blahnix under it, maybe, but I don't know. So anyway, today we're going to make uh, corned beef and cabbage, which probably started way back in Ireland. I'm going to make up some history now. Um, because, we have friends gathering. Oh, we have friends gathering? Yes, we have friends gathering. Well, while we wait for you to gather, I just want you to know that making a corned beef and cabbage dinner is about as easy as making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but we'll get to it in a few minutes. Yes, yeah, I have to make you stretch because yeah. I know it's only going to take you about a minute. To it's make so this, it's so. it's so easy, but so good, so it's so satisfying. It's one of those uh, meals that you don't want to make it more than once or twice a year because then I don't know. It's but something about doing it on St. Patrick's Day. And then I was thinking yesterday how great the leftover corned beef would be on. Um, we do it on flatbread, and how do you how do you do uh, corned beef sandwiches, Alan? You just love them so much. Say hi, Al. Hi, Al. <laughs> look at you in your look at so you too. He's in the real St. Patrick's green. How cute are you? you. Yeah. On the top of the afternoon to you. <laughs> wow, Al. How about these shorts? I oh yeah. Uh, yeah, show them your shorts, Al. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, these shorts have great history. No kidding. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> These are Al's he favorite got, he pants. He had a little trap door there. Yeah. Well, pays to advertise. <laughs> yeah. These are, uh, these are it, you, I, I'm not allowed to wash them too much or ever think of throwing them out, right? Right. You, would you ever think of buying new shorts? No. No. Why would I? <laughs> okay, yeah. so you have some friends joining. Dan Wolf says, hello, beautiful. Hi. Beata says, bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, Comment allez-vous? Do you know where Papa Los uh, says he loved watching you on Step by Step. Oh. Gail Gravett says hi, beautiful. Mm. Brian Call thinks you look stunning. Oh, thank you. Um, what does he think of me? <laughs> oh, there are so many hearts coming across the screen. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Andrea <laughs> Joel says hi all the way from Pennsylvania. Hey. Oh, are you guys digging out, Andrea? We've been. All yeah, that snow. You, you can't hate us today for what we're going to show you weather-wise outside when we go for a little walk because I've got something to show you. We're having a spring in the desert. We've had a drought, you know, for uh, s several years now. And then this year is the year we had all the rain. And wait, to, you have to stay for the whole this whole interaction here because the wildflower bloom hasn't happened like this for at least a decade. It takes my breath away. It's and spectacular. It, and it's not, even in, it's not even complete yet. It's every morning I wake up, I look outside my bedroom window, and it's like, <gasps> so beautiful. I did a little video in the vegetable garden the other day just kind of going nuts over the wildflowers. Your, your friend Tony Zolfo is on. Hey, she Tony. Says hi. Francie Faragali. Hey, the Italians are out. Yes. Your, your people. Uh, Caroline. Yes. Yeah, I'm Caroline, the yeah. voice behind the camera. Yes, yeah, and she's uh, the Italian in the family who yes. married the Irish guy, who's yes. part Blackfoot. Kiss him, he's Irish. <laughs> um, hi, Suzanne, mm -hmm. happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. You have a friend from Sioux City, Jenny Whitlock. Hey, Jenny. Um, so, lots of friends. Hugs from Italy, Emanuela Leonardi. Oh, oh. Hi, Emanuela. Hello, Emanuela. Love and joy always from Frankie. Oh, uh, your friend is, uh, your friend John is recommending rye bread with your sandwich. Oh, yes, tell me, tell me your favorite ways to have leftover corned beef. See, I was thinking in scrambled eggs, because I can eat eggs again. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Cut up in little pieces, scrambled eggs, and, and uh, dark brown fried onions, and kind of wet scrambled eggs. Mm. Dan mm -hmm. McGuire says, top of the morning to you, Lass. Top of the morning to you. Kay Davis mm -hmm. says, good meal, great lesson. She mm -hmm. likes the family tradition. Mm -hmm. And Frances Baldry, hi, Frances. Hey, Frances. You guys are so cute. <laughs> uh, 
I her. love Frances. She knows that. And Maria loves your sneakers, though. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you show it up close on his, on his sneakers? There they yeah. are. Yeah. Careful. That's the angle on those shorts. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want any wardrobe malfunctions. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we and are, it would, I'll tell you, it would be an amazing thing, wouldn't it, Al? <laughs> well, I, it, it would be entirely up to you. Okay. <laughs> speaking of me. Uh-huh. Here we okay. go. Okay. Now, I, you have to search kind of high and low to get organic and grass-fed, but you can find it. You can find it. And I got a beautiful corned beef. Okay, so corned beef is a brisket, correct? Uh -huh. Yes, okay. yes, that's been corned. <laughs> okay, but you're going to corn it for us. I'm going to. I'm going to. Okay. Here are your ingredients here. I, I brought out some different beers. I like dark beers, but I brought out different kinds so that you could see that it doesn't really matter. What I think is unique is that uh, we... Um, cook it in beer rather than water or broth. And I did put out here, for those of you for who are gluten-free, they make, I have nothing to do with this brand, but they make a gluten-free beer, which is very meaningful to people. You know, there's an interesting story, speaking of Irish and Catholic, that Dr. Jonathan Wright was telling me about, that he had a family who was all gluten intolerant. And they didn't eat any gluten, nothing, nothing, nothing. Like, because they got so much better not eating gluten. Except every Monday, they were sick, and like really sick, like holding their stomach kind of sick. And he finally figured out is because the whole family went to communion at the Catholic Church on Sunday, and that little bit of host, that little bit of flour, just threw their their systems into a turmoil. So that's how that's how um, uh, important it is to avoid gluten when you're severely gluten intolerant. Okay, so you're gonna. Make one of these for us today. I'm this going to. Beef and cabbage. I'm going to. Okay. I have this uh, water purifier here. I don't know if you have that at home, but I can do acidic for um, washing. You know, if you want to make sure, because I take things out of the uh, garden, I want to make sure there are no bugs. So the acidic will kill them, and then you rinse them and purify it. And I also have alkaline water, and I like to drink a glass of alkaline water at least a day because you want to stay um, pH balanced. So I'm just going to get rid of these tops. Again, this is going to be the easiest thing that you will ever make, and it's so good. And we're doing it in a slow cooker. You don't have to have a slow cooker. You can put it in your big stock pot. But um, I love the whole idea that you can uh, put it in early in the day. So that's why you can do this tomorrow morning or, or today if you want. And leave it going. You get it on high so that it gets itself going, and then you can... Um, Put it, put it on for the whole day, and when you come home at the end of the day, yeah. it oh, I didn't write amazing. that in your recipe. I, I thought know. it was just low for eight hours. That's I put it I on put high it. to like get it bubbling a little, and then oh. I turn it down to low for the rest of the day. Well, okay. So, guys, we did post the video on, I mean, the recipe on Facebook. Yes. So, if you're looking for the actual recipe, it's a Suzanne recipe. You know, it's like a little of this and a little of that, so you can <laughs> adjust it as you want. But I think it's really nice that you're doing this today, Suzanne, so people can go get the ingredients and make it tomorrow for St. Yes. Patrick's Day. And then at the end of this show, we are going to eat it for our uh, mid-afternoon lunch. And um, I wish so much I could shove it through the little camera there. Uh, I like to cook potatoes with their skins, but for the corned beef and cabbage, I, I peel them. These are just your russets. It's going to, you know... I have Alan's potatoes in the ground down in the garden, but they're so incredible that I think it would be a waste to use those little yummy little things. So I'm just using boil them. Yeah, you. Yeah, I, uh, the other night we had Alan's potatoes, and they're little like like that big, just out of the ground. I washed them. I boiled them just till they were pork tender. And then I uh, sautéed them in brown butter. Yum. Yes, Maria, the recipe is on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's, it's posted on Suzanne's page. You have a lot of people joining with you today. We Good. Have 750 top of the, people top here, of the yeah. morning to you. Morning. There's no G in mor morning. And um, I only had three of these potatoes in the house. So you can use four. You can use whatever you can fit in your slow cooker or your stock pot. Okay, while you were cooking those potatoes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I just want to remind everyone, we always have some great special for you on these Facebook Live days. So today, everything at SuzanneSummers.com is 25% off. 
So the entire site. So enjoy that. Your promo code is LUCKY25. So that's good all day today and tomorrow during St. Patrick's Day. So I hope you guys enjoy that. We'll be sharing with you a few of the products that you might want to get at your 25% off a little later. Like this deodorant that everyone's gone crazy for. Haven't they gone crazy for yeah, this deodorant? Yeah, it's, it's so good. Well, you know, when you don't want to put chemicals on your armpits, it's really nice. Well, think of the craziness of putting chemicals in, in your armpit. The, the pores are so active, and that's where all your lymph nodes are. Yeah, and this smells nice. Um, it smells nice. Yeah. So it we really have some coconut, coconut products. So we'll be talking about these in a bit. And also, every single order this month, at SuzanneSummers.com, you're going to get a free copy of Suzanne Summers' Get Skinny on Fabulous Food. And this is one of Suzanne's summer size books from maybe 10 years ago. And, you know, she's always updating the science on her weight loss program. But the recipes in this are unbelievable. She's such a great cook. So every order at SuzanneSummers.com, you're going to get 25% off, and you're also going to get a free copy of this book. So, feeling awfully generous, Irish girl. Yes, well... Okay, so what are you, what are you doing now? Okay, your so, corned beef and so I'm just um, again so simple. I peeled the potatoes. Um, I didn't peel the carrots; just washed them real well. And two onions, if you can fit them. Look at these beautiful onions. Now the next time we do this, we have to go down to our onion field. Okay, so I, I noticed you're using a serrated knife. That's see, Caroline always goes out. I why? Because it's a bread knife. Because I'm the only person in the world who doesn't say. Wow, you're amazing. <laughs> wow, that must be the best knife. It's good to have someone around like me who says, wait, I, isn't my that a bossy bread knife? daughter in law. Isn't that a bread knife? <laughs> yes, it's a bread knife, but my other knives don't work. Do you need me to sharpen your knives? Yeah. You need one sharp chopping knife. I do. I do. See, people think you have everything. I don't. And this I, is where I find out at I these don't. little things, and I go, Suzanne needs a knife. I know, and then what, I have like a really good Mother's Day present for you. Yeah, because those are the things I want in life, right? I, I don't need cocktail dresses. You don't need faux furs. I know that. No. You have a no. lot of faux furs. No, but they look good, don't they? So cute on that. I know. I know. And Steven Tyler even yanked that one off of you at his show. He, he so, so wanted me to give him that. I, if I had more largesse. I would have given it to him, but then all the way home I would have wished I hadn't. Is that selfish of me? He is Steven Tyler, but it looks so good on me. Um, Melanie wants to know if you've ever been overweight in your life. Yeah, in my 50s. 50s are hard. Okay, I'm just sticking these in. I like to put them in whole because um, I do. All right. And so now, in your 50s, you had a hard time getting a hold of your... Yeah, because your hormones are all over the place, and and um, even up until like I don't know, right before Dancing with the Stars, I was still battling. And then I realized it's sugar and white flour. I was summer sizing for two decades, and then it sneaks back in, doesn't it? It sneaks mm -hmm. back in, and uh, an ice cream here and a cake there. As soon as I gave up all sugar and all white flour. Boom. It was great. Okay. Now look at this. I mean, what is simpler than this? Okay? Tootsie. Potatoes. Onions. Carrots. Oh, look at you. Okay. okay. Right. Okay, so now, the vegetables in the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now, we're going to put this here. And I'm going to sprinkle the picklings. This is really important. Pickling spices. Okay, so this is how it becomes corned beef rather than just brisket. Correct. Okay. See? You can get any kind, but I like this because it's organic. And I've, what is in pickling spice? Pepper and... And uh, peppercorns and pickling Let's stuff. Look. Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> I don't know. Read that label. Oh, mustard. Oh, mustard seed. That's what the little white ones are. Right. Mustard, yellow, dill seed, black pepper, coriander, bay leaves, chili, crushed chili, allspice, ginger, cinnamon, and cloves. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, but what I find really interesting is that there's no salt in that. So do you add the salt? It, because the corned beef has been brined, it's already so salty. That's why corned beef, you drink a lot oh. of water, you do not need to add so salt. So when you get it from a butcher and you ask for corned beef, they usually pre-brined it? Yeah. You don't have to brine it yourself? Oh, absolutely. That's oh. What, otherwise, it's a brisket. Oh, Did you notice okay. how the Irish I, girl opens the beer? Look at yeah. you. Yeah. 
Okay, I so for all you summer sizers, don't freak out. It's once a year she's using right. beer. Right, or you can use the gluten-free. Yeah. Okay. Right? Now, I find that two will probably do it. And, by the way, you can do this in any order. You can put the meat on the bottom. I sort of like all the juices to float down into the potatoes. And this is all going to, um, I think I can put another bottle in there. Why not, huh? Um, I, my favorite is dark ale. I only had, this one's pretty dark. John wants to know if Jack taught you how to cook. I taught Jack how to cook. That was the irony on that show. John Ritter does not know how to cook, or did not know how to cook at all. All right. That's it, and we stretched it, and you're already done. Okay. Now, i got to move things around. I'm going to put it on high, okay, for a while. So you can use any slow cooker for this. Yes. This is Suzanne's summer-sized slow cooker from years back at, when we were at HSM. Still a great product, still holds up. Yep. I love my slow cooker. Yeah, I love it. But you can use any slow cooker, like a six-quart slow cooker. Okay, all right. Okay, so okay, now fabulous. It's... Now, you're wondering, where's the cabbage? After this cooks and it, the, the, the vegetables melt down and this sits down right, everything will drop down. The last three hours, I quarter the cabbage and put it in. Because if you put the cabbage in now, it'll get way, way, way too soggy. So okay. in, if you were boiling it on top of the stove, you'd put it in like the last half hour because it's boiling. But for this, because it's a slow cooker, the last three hours is fine. Okay, so your friends are asking, like, no water? No just water. Beer. Yeah. Just beer. Just beer. Irish beer. Well, and also the, the meat and the vegetables are then going to release all their juice. Exactly. So that's, exactly. That it's all sauce. melding together stuff. So... <coughs> Carol me. says her beautiful daughter-in-law is talking to her. Carol. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Beautiful and smart. <laughs> um, okay, cabbage, they're all happy You're yeah. about the cabbage. I just want to um, push this down a little further. I might have to... Okay, so again, um, while that's getting started cooking, mm -hmm. Al, are you riveted? Huh? Are you riveted? Rivet? Yeah. Yeah? I'm actually waiting uh, to eat. Okay, well, we're going to feed you soon, but first, we have about a thousand people watching hey, you make corned beef and cabbage. Look how good Suzanne looks. I mean, I, that you she? look good. Yeah, I, I'm just looking at your butt right now, <laughs> and it looks really good. It does. She's 70. Like, that's crazy. That, hey. Oh, so many thumbs up. Yeah, you guys agree with me? She looks good, right? You know, it ain't over. There's a whole new way to do this thing. You all know. You read my books. No drugs. No drugs. Be happy. Sleep. Take your supplements. Look, and she does her own dishes. And I do my own dishes. She's super cool. I know. Hey, I did a load of wash this You're morning. You're so not too. a diva. Just, I'm not I mean, a, just real talk here. You I are not so a not a diva. I was all glammed up on stage Saturday night, and this morning I was doing a load of wash. That's life. That's what I like about you. <laughs> Tannis yeah. says, Alan, you're looking good. Thank you. It's all that great food your wife feeds you. Yeah. That is true. So much of your longevity, you too. It's about food. You know, I was, uh, I went to the, um, it's a great tennis tournament down here in the desert. And I don't know anything about tennis. I don't know how to play tennis. I'm the only one who lives in the desert. I don't play golf and I don't play tennis. But we hike. We hike and we cook and I write. And I'm very busy. Anyway, I was talking to Roger Federer's mother. Wow. And we connected because she is into food. Oh. She is into, uh, she has her own garden like me. I just want to show them these while we're here. Aren't so those beautiful? Though. Gardenias. Wow. So, so she cook, She has her own garden? Yeah. And she, she and I were very similar. And I said to her, you're, you're probably younger than me. And she really liked that. Look what Al's reading. You're so cool, Al. Yeah. Um, Chrissy wants to know if you eat fruit, because you're talking about sugar and reducing sugar. I do, um, and I like to make fruit smoothies uh, some mornings. Um, this time of the year, you know, we have grapefruit trees, so you can see. Look how beautiful those are. So, so we're eating beautiful. grapefruit. We can have grapefruit because we're not on statins. Um, I could do a whole, whole show on 
um, statins and that you may want to know about them. But anyway, we're lucky that we can have the grapefruit because, I mean, look at these beautiful grapefruit. And also, I just want to remind everyone that it's a lucky day because everything at SuzanneSummers.com is 25% off. Yes. So that's our St. Patrick's Day special. You go to, if you go to SuzanneSummers.com, enter the promo code LUCKY25 at checkout. You get 25% off everything in your cart, plus you get this book, a copy of Suzanne's Get Skinny on Fabulous Food for free. Oh, wow. That looks good. Mm. 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 Yeah, um, Veronica's talking about the aroma of the gardenias. I wish you were in here, Veronica. Gardenias and then fresh from the tree uh, grapefruit. Uh, Teresa Parker would like for you to talk about statins, please. Well... Oh, I love it. Um, there's a lot of controversy about statins because statins inhibit your body's ability to manufacture plaque. That's a good thing. But the plaque you have is the plaque you have. It also inhibits your body's ability to make important hormones like testosterone. And so that is why um, men get kind of a muscle wasting sometimes as a side effect. Uh, uh, when you're not getting proper hormone production to the brain, you start missing thoughts, things like that. Um, there's a, a book by a dear friend of mine, Dr. Stephen Sinatra, who is the leading integrative cardiologist in America, my cardiologist, and he said, I can count on one hand the amount of patients I have on statins. He said, it's usually genetic, and that, that would be a reason. He said, but it's not about your HDL, the good cholesterol. It's about the uh, LDL. But you need LDL because LDL is not bad in that it's what creates the little synapse between cells, which would be your bridge. And that's how cells communicate. They need that little bridge. So when you've taken something that inhibits your body to make the little synapse, um, that's not a good thing. That's where you're not getting your, your messaging right. He said the only important factor in LDL is the second component. It's called L apostrophe L P little A. L P little A. He said if that's high, you're kind of screwed. He said, but then instead of putting people on a statin, this is a cardiologist, it's in his book, The Cholesterol Myth. He said, I usually put them on either natokinase, which is a natural blood thinner, or if their numbers are really bad. I put them on a stronger natural blood thinner called Lumbro kinase. Violet yeah. was on both of those mm -hmm. when she had mine. Came really? Mold. Yeah. Inter uh, interesting. Because her blood was thick. Because the mold yeah. makes your blood thick. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So she was on like two or three, but they were all natural blood thinners. And she's well now. Yeah. So isn't that great? She's so well. She's so beautiful. Um, yeah. So can we talk about some of these? Yeah. These. You want to sit down and uh -huh. have a little chit chat with me? Mm-hmm. Okay, so 25% off. I know um, you're really into this peptide line. Oh my gosh, I love it. So talk to me about you well, have this firming peptide line. So here we have the firming facial cleanser mm -hmm. and the eye firming serum and the neck firming serum. Tell me what you love about this cleanser. Well, I can go into all the details of what's in it, but what I like is what it does. And uh, at my age, you know, the neck is not what it once was, and the, the, you get wrinkles and things like that. Uh, the greatest thing ever said to me ever, 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 ever was Tom Ford, who said to me, Suzanne, you would look strange without wrinkles. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's so true, but, you know, this just, it smooths it out a little bit. Like yes. this eye-firming serum, you can use this over your makeup, because sometimes we get questions about that. Um, you can put this on over your makeup, and you want to just do a little, a I little demonstration? It, I call it um, eye spackle. <laughs> um, Andrea, the sale is today and tomorrow, um, all through St. Patrick's Day, and it's 25% off site-wide. Mm -hmm. You enter code LUCKY25. And they get the book? And you get a free copy of... We have a defective pump. Oh, well, oh, that's not good. And a free, a free copy of this book. Okay. Now, okay. what? The cover price of the book is $25. Yeah. Oh. 
cover price. So here, yes, the cover price of the book is $25. So it's like you're getting stuff for free. Now you look at the color and you go, what's that? Because everything we make comes from nature, it's like I might open up a, 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 a grapefruit and it's a light pink. I might open one it's a dark pink or the same thing. You've seen that with uh, mangoes and papayas. They're different color. That's nature. And so. it's tea. We use tea as a preservative in this. And so the tea sometimes turns a little darker. Okay. So, see, look how she's just dabbing this on yeah. her crow's feet area. Uh huh. Fat bags and crow's feet, mm -hmm. which you just like unbelievably don't have. I um. They're hummingbird's feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then are you going to show how you hold it up? Uh huh. I'm just getting it a little drier. Okay. Here's the speckle part. So you just hold it up for like 20 seconds until it dries. So look, this is on top of her makeup. And what it does is it has this this peptide in it that is like a it supports the structure of your skin and it's a natural peptide and what it's going to do is kind of hold the skin in place. I don't want to let go. I hold it for about a minute. I think it's dry enough now. Okay, yeah. sort of. And it that really diminishes your crow's feet. Even with overhead light. What's that yeah. overhead light like? Well, we're going to get out of here. Yeah. Get out right. of the overhead light. But also, yeah. we have the same version in the neck firming serum. Yes. And that which is amazing. And you bring it up. It creates like almost like a, a mesh web mm -hmm. that holds it up, you know, for lack of getting too technical. And just hold it up like that and just leave it for a minute. And then it just sort of... My, I have less wrinkles on my neck using that. Well, I'm Patricia really says it. that she has allergies and breakouts, and she wants to know what face cream you recommend. Mine. Uh, all of our creams. You, yeah. Because you have to understand that these, th this line is so clean. It's organic. Everything in every product, everything, comes from nature. And we, in our makeup, we get our color from berries. And all of it has the little insignia certified toxic free. We're really proud of that. The guidelines are very stringent. means it's grown organically, extracted organically, and nothing upwind or downwind of the product can be toxic to contaminate it. So that's the kind of quality you're getting. And uh, the prices are so incredible because we do not spend any money on packaging. Well, they're more incredible today because everything is 25% off. Right. So some people are asking for the specific names of these products, so I just want to make sure that you can see here. Again, this is the tightening peptide line. So it's the firming facial cleanser. This is the neck firming serum and the eye firming serum. Don't forget to put in Lucky 25 at checkout so that you get the 25% off. And you get the free book. Okay, so I think you had and something. The, and the book has great pictures in it. Great recipes, uh, too. Yeah. And I, we talked about the deodorant. Um, we talked about the deodorant. It's unreal. How cool to have deodorant that works, that has no chemicals in it. You know, uh, uh, under your arms where you use deodorant, it, uh, those pores are so open all the time. Your sweat glands are there. Your lymph glands are there. And you're shaving. And you're shaving. And why would you ever? We And we all did it. When I was a kid, there was a commercial where the, um, the, the jingle said aluminum chlorhydrate. Al and knows that jingle. Do you know that one? What was the jingle? How was it? Yeah, it's, uh, it was for, should I mention no. the name of the deodorant? No. No, Just, I won't do that. Yeah. But my friend Sasha Berland actually created that jingle in the 60s. Oh. And I would sit in his studio in New York and he would play it on speakers as big as Sing Felix. it for us, Al. And aluminum chlorhydrate. Is it good? Now imagine trying to sell something today that you put under your arms with aluminum. Yeah. <laughs> aluminum, hey, which has had Tootsie's, a direct link to Alzheimer's. Yeah. Tootsie's asking if anyone has tried the deodorant. Tootsie, go on Suzanne's website and look at the um, the reviews. The product reviews are great. And I wish you were with me because I smell great. And Caroline smells great, and so does Alan. And well, we're who here doesn't want to eat? smell like... Jasmine, wild orange and jasmine, which, right. by the way, your whole property right now with all the orange blossoms Unbelie and unbelievable. the jasmine and bloom, it's unreal. See, Carol is chiming in and says, the deodorant is great. Get it. So, do you Did you know that Alan is a fruitaholic? He's a fruitaholic. Oh, mm -hmm. terrific. I know. He Did has you? to have um, huh? a minimum, I know, 
I already opened one there, by the way. Oh well, you'll have it. You'll eat that one too. Yes, we're Eddie. Going. This is for men too. All the products. Oh gosh, are yes. Oh gosh, yes. Okay, we're going on a we're going on a field trip, guys. And then come. when we come back, we're going to have the finished because we did a hero corned beef and cabbage for our lunch, and I want you to see what it looks like when it's all done. Mm. Deb says the house must smell amazing, and it Deb, does. you are right. It, it does. does. Here's the right. one that's done. Should I open it for a Just minute? Just a peek. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let's go on the field trip, Zanny. Hey, before we go, can I plug my friend Ed Garubo's book? Sure. Called Sunday Pasta. Oh, God, that looks good. Every Thursday, he publishes an email. It's garubo.com, G-O-R-R-U-B-B-O. We're oh. not in business with him. He's going to love but you more. Look at this. Oh, this guy knows Italian food. Look yeah. at this. Yeah. yeah. Really yeah, incredible. Unreal. And really. He's, he's been to every great Italian restaurant in yeah. the world. Yeah. And his website has them all reviewed. Wow. Like, incredible. Now, for those of you who are gluten intolerant, you can use gluten-free pasta. You can. Yeah. You can. You can. Okay. We're going yeah. on a field trip with Zanny. Okay. In beautiful, the beautiful California desert. You want to walk with this? Okay. It's such a beautiful day. You wake up, you honest to God want to sing, oh, what a beautiful morning. It's okay. okay, I just have to make sure I don't trip as I... Yeah. Now, this is not even what I'm talking about yet. It's just that this is what's happening after a whole winter of rain. It's so... Hey, this is Big Al's bar, just so you guys know. Yeah. This is where Suzanne and Alan hang out at 5 o'clock. <laughs> And they look out at that desert. That's, That's what you get to do. Really at cool. 70 and 80. You are awesome. <laughs> I want to be like you. We're all grown up. <laughs> oh, we get little glimpses of the. Michelle day. really enjoys your live feeds. <laughs> Come on, Big Al. Here he right. comes. Lucky boy. <laughs> In the green shoes and the green shirt. Okay, so. Okay. Here's the mountain. Yeah, so beautiful. The website is SuzanneSummers.com, Carol. And the promo code is Lucky25. Suzanne Rosen wants to know if you will adopt her. <laughs> yeah, come on. How okay. beautiful is this? Yeah. Wow. If there's no room in the house, you can put a tent. You used to have a tent back here. I did, a teepee. Okay. Brenda wants to know if there are any snakes. There will be when they it gets hotter. <laughs> so these are the daisies in close-up that you're going to see on the mountain that are just outrageous. You know, in 40 years of living here, in 40 years of living here, I would say we've seen maybe 10 snakes. That's not bad for 40 years. They don't want to see us. Do not bat like humans. Don't back them into a corner. If you back them in a corner, they're going to strike. But if you just you know, see one. I don't like to see them, but if you see one, you give it its space. Kevin says Bigfoot is in this area also. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is unreal. Okay, this is the desert. How beautiful. I think I went the wrong way. And I'm following you. Don't forget, stay with us. We're going to have lunch in a few minutes. Yeah. Look at all these babies. And as you see a little green puff, that's going to be yellow. Suzanne, yeah? we're going to lose connection if we go any farther. Okay. So we have to... All right. And these are our wild forget-me-nots. I'd just oh, like to wow. show you what grows in the desert. And can you see up there, there's a little bridge, and then all oh, those beautiful, beautiful wild daisies. They're actually called Encilia, E-N-C-I-L-L-I-A. And we're about a week away from everyone being in bloom. Okay, let's go back. Okay. See, this one hasn't even done its thing yet. It's all so buds. this is going to go on for another few weeks. Yeah, we got about a month of this, and maybe longer. Okay, is it lunchtime? I think it's lunchtime. I'm really hungry. I can't wait. Time for the big reveal. Doesn't Alan corned beef and cabbage all of a sudden sound like the greatest idea there oh, yeah. ever was? Yeah, I, I'd eat anything right now. <laughs> well, corned beef and cabbage. So don't forget the uh, promo code is lucky25 at suzannesummers.com. Hey, see my bathtub? Bath? See bath my bathtub? 
Do I have a romantic husband or what? He gave me that for my birthday. A real outdoor bathtub. That's pretty cool. There's Epsom salts in the bowl over there. Lisa wants to know if you see any coyotes. Uh-huh. Yeah. We, we certainly hear them at night. Yeah. They like to um, run down that mountain. And we have a, a bobcat that occasionally comes on. And last June, where that waterfall is, I woke up in the morning and looked out, and there was a herd of bighorn sheep. And they stayed all weekend. They went to all around the property. It was blessed. This is a little fire pit where we make s'mores when all the kids are here. They love it. Yeah, it's awesome. Because grandparents should always have a built-in fire pit for <laughs> s'more making. <laughs> Imagine having grandparents like us. <laughs> it's like I told my um, grandkids from the time they were little, I said, I just want you to know one thing. I'm a different kind of grandmother. And so now all I have to do is say to the kids, cuz, and then they all chime in, you're a different kind of grandma. <laughs> Marie, I see that you're trying to get me to ask her a question, but I missed it. Can you ask me again? Sorry, it was hard to see out there in the sun. Um, so, Suzanne, yeah. can you talk a little bit about your coconut products? Uh -huh. Your coconut body wash and your coconut body lotion and the coconut body souffle because they want to know what else you're selling. Coconut is a gift from nature. Coconut has a medium chain triglycerides. Which what are you, what essential you fatty acids. I was just going to say that's essential fatty acids. So, if the skin is all cells, that's what we are, um, each cell requires essential fatty acids to make the membrane around the outside of the cell, and you want that membrane to be made of um, essential fatty acids like the coconut oil provides so that water and air can fl uh, flow through. That's essential to life, but also that's why your skin doesn't dry out. So it's not just putting oil on, it's like what magic does it um, create? Okay, now we're going to Ta-da! Are we ready? Let me get a couple of... I'm excited. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay, so here's smell. how it started. Yeah, this will be ready in eight hours. In eight hours, then you're going to have this. Wow. Hundio. Wow, am I ever... You haven't fed me for two days getting ready for this. <laughs> Kimberly Wells is on from Eli. Hey, hi, Kimberly. Kimberly. Hi. We know she loves that coconut oil. It's the only the only thing she brought with her when she hiked the Himalayas or something outrageous. Like Kimberly's that. my only friend I know who um, hikes the Himalayas regularly. Wow, this looks amazing. Look at that. That's why I like to do them whole. Yeah, they break apart. And they cooking them in the beer... They have the most incredible flavor, and the potato picks up all that amazing flavor. Andrea wants to know if you still food come in. Um, yeah, but I, you know, I was able, like I promised with summer sizing, that eventually you would retrain your metabolism. And my metabolism, because I was so faithful to it, I can, I can now... Throw in potatoes a couple of times a week. Here's your corn. It's just falling apart, which is what you want. Look John says he hopes her husband realizes how lucky he is. Do you realize that, Alan? And Mary Heck says, between you and Alan, I'm starving. <laughs> Do you, John? John wants, wants you to know how lucky. If he hopes you realize how lucky you are. I, I have an expletive I would like to respond with, but I won't. But the first <laughs> word of the expletive is no, and then a word follows that. No what? It's positive. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. Oh, I know what it is. What is it? It starts with an S. Ah, <laughs> uh, we get it right. Yeah, we get it now. We're not stupid. Uh, See, I was actually thinking it must be something much more vulgar than that, or you would yeah. have just said it. Because no shit, he would just say. He normally. would just say, no right? shit, yeah. He, um, I would say he adores me. Is that right, Alan? Beyond. Beyond. Aww. Beyond. He, so he writes me little love notes. Okay, and then you put the sauce <gasps> on there? Like, or do you put that on no. the No. Now, now, okay. Uh, now, 
what you're going to serve this with is yellow mustard, good old American, not Dijon, not French mustard. You want to have this guy. We all know this, right? Okay? Any brand that you want. This is the um, American guy. And that, when you serve it, you smoosh some mustard on each plate. Look at that. Is that just a great lunch? Dinner? Breakfast? So what is this? Like, does this harken you back to your Irish roots and your yeah, Irish I like parents? It. And I, like, this is your holiday. I love being Irish. I have a friendly personality, and I think that's the Irish part of me. And um, I uh, have always liked all things Irish. And so today I like to honor my people by um, doing something traditional. I think tradition is important in life. That, um, and I like, I like all my kids to follow the tradition. We celebrate everybody's everything. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it falls apart. Under. Just wow. falling. Amazing. Falling apart. Stephanie, you can use any kind of beer, but Suzanne prefers dark beer. Look at that. Mm. Tannis's mouth is watering. I know. I wish we had squish a vision. And Ramiro likes your cute decor. <laughs> it's green. Deb wants to know if you learned to cook from your parents. No. No. <laughs> With all due respect, Mama. Um, my mother wasn't a bad cook. She just wasn't a great cook. And I say that with tremendous love. I'm going to let you smoosh on your own mustard, okay, Al? Here's this. Here's this. And you get the first one. Oh, uh, Patty's granddaughter is named Ireland Joy. How cute is that? We have my sister's Maureen, my brother's Danny, my late brother is Michael. Um, how I got to be Suzanne was one moment, I was supposed to be Kathleen, oh. Kathleen Mahoney, and my mother asserted herself once in her life, and that was as they, she gave birth, and my father said, uh, well, here's Kathleen. She said, no, no, I want her to be Suzanne. Wow. He had, she had never mentioned it to anybody before wow. then. Wow. And that was her being asserted. So while Suzanne is plating the next corned beef and cabbage, just want to remind okay. you to go to SuzanneSaunders.com oh. today and enter promo code LUCKY25. It lasts through tomorrow, the sale. You get 25% off everything, including some of these amazing products that Suzanne was talking about today. The deodorant with no chemicals. This is this amazing body cleanser made with coconut oil. It smells great. There are no chemicals in it. It's made with coconut cleansers, so it's mild and it smells incredible. And then you can follow up with this coconut body lotion and this coconut oil body souffle, which is this rich, beautiful body lotion. And with every order, you get a free copy of Get Skinny on Fabulous Food because the recipes are so dang good. And my husband just went to the refrigerator and he's so right. This is the organic mustard. Much better idea. There you go. Okay. okay. Here's the first bite. Ready? Let's do this, Al. Mm. Wow. That's really, really. Well, kiss her. She's Irish, damn it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Speaking of kissing, ah, yeah. this is, this is um, some lip wrinkle cream, which is awesome for those little lines around your mouth. Do you want to talk about your lip wrinkle cream? Well, I want to talk about lip wrinkles. They make you look um, a lot older than you are, so you want to do whatever you can. And just at night, just like dot, dot this on here. If you use your mouth a lot, I use my mouth a lot. You know, I'm expressive. I do those things. Um, it does create little lines. I've and never even if you don't smoke, you still get those lines. I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. Um, so this helps me a lot. I, I take the lip wrinkle cream very seriously. And for those of you who have those little lines up there, if you do smoke, this is your friend. So Shirley is asking what this is cooked in. So Shirley, the recipe is online on Suzanne's Facebook page. And she cooks it in beer in the slow cooker with the carrots and the potatoes and the cabbage. And then she tops it with mustard, so you can find that recipe online. 
Mm, I can't wait to eat this. Um, Sean wants to know, why does he wear his sunglasses indoors? Because Al's cool. Yeah, it's just a cool thing. He, he was worried about you having a vision problem. No, no, I don't have a vision problem. Al's just cool. I have cool. a brain problem. Uh, he's also got very blue eyes. So he's very sensitive very, to very light. Sensitive, yeah. Yeah. We were at the tennis tournament yesterday, and I have blue eyes, and uh, it really it's very hard on blue eyes. And when I did the movie Zuma Beach many, many years ago, probably 900 years ago. <laughs> was that the one when you were covered in ants? No, no. That was my other big movie. Now, this is Brian Grazer's very first movie was Zuma Beach. Did uh, you know that? Yes. And all, oh, I didn't know it was his first. Very first. Oh, yeah. Very wow. first. Wow. And um, I, my eyes just killed me on that movie because you had to look into reflectors and at the beach with oh, the sand yeah, yeah. and the white sand was reflected. Yeah, your eyes are light. And like that. Carol Zimmerman wants to know, is corned beef brisket the same meat? Yes, it is. The yes, same it is. thing. A bris it's, the, it's a brisket that's brined and done in pickling spices. So yeah. that's what turns it into corned beef. Mm. Mm. Okay, mm. eat some, mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. So great. Mm. I really wish I could share it with you, but at least I've shared the recipe, and you see that it's so simple. Amy and wants to know if your makeup line is organic. Yes. Oh, gosh, yes. Oh, gosh. It's amazing. Yes. It's made with like juice extracts, so it has a ton of antioxidants and they're beautiful they're colors. Wow, look when at When you're that. Yeah. yeah. See that's what I like about the slow cooker, because it gives it time for the meat to just fall apart and taste. Mm. 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 So Beautiful. cute, Irish mm. girl eating her mm. corned beef and her green shirt. My green shirt. Do you feel lucky? Mm. I do. And at night. We're just on the other side of the full moon, but out here, no, when we're sitting at Big Al's bar, the way, the highway, it's not the highway, it's the main drag down there, angles at night with the traffic, it makes a perfect lit uh, seven. Yes, the number seven and lights. Number seven. Lucky girl. So I look at number seven every night. Yes. As one of your other friends had recommended you make a Reuben sandwich with this. And a Reuben with the sauerkraut yes, which would be and great. rye bread. And Kathleen wants to know if she can still purchase your products mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. tomorrow mm -hmm. through tomorrow night. The sale is good. Mm -hmm. Potato the is sale great. is good right. through tomorrow mm -hmm. night. And John Finley has to go back to work, but he said I'm he sorry, really loved this and he loves watching <laughs> his company. And anyway. How great. Okay. Well, um, it's all about being in the present. So I always say at the end of my show, it's not who you are, it's not what you do, it's not what you have. It's only about who you love and who loves you. And I have a life filled with great love. And I spent a lot of <clears throat> time in my life working on that. And food is part of love. And growing food and cooking food and enjoying food. It's the simple things in life. So happy St. Patrick's Day. You were giving that beautiful <coughs> closing comment about love. And I pan to Al to get the reciprocal look. And what was he doing? He Eating? was so endor he was so engrossed <laughs> in the corned beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so uh, she loves everybody. Together, when you say it's about who you love and who it's loves you. It's only about <laughs> who you love and who loves you. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> he loves his corned beef. Thanks for joining us Bye. today. Bye. Thanks guys. everybody. The sale goes through tomorrow night. Thanks. Lucky Happy St. Patrick's. St. Patrick's Day.